How's it going, you saucy minxes? My name is Hafo, and today I've got a an After Effects tutorial. And uh, just before we start, I just this is taking a look at my most viewed videos. And I noticed that the second most viewed, apart from well, you've got the most viewed, which is my MW2 color correction. But the second one is this uh, Sony Vegas tutorial on how to muffle music and an explosion. And I just want to show you. I thought I noticed that today, and I was like. Wait, I know how to do that in After Effects, and I thought, well, if that one's that popular, then maybe people might want to see it in After Effects too. So I'm going to be showing you how to muffle audio and create like a muffled explosion effect, which is really nice. It can polish off your edits, and this should be a quick tutorial, hopefully, because it's only some settings that I would use. Um, and I'm just going to get right into it today because I don't want to what uh, I don't want to just um, waffle on about rubbish. So. What you're going to do is you're going to click your audio layer, which is here. I've synced my... Basically, I've added an explosion to where um, the explosion goes off. As you will... I down, All I did for, to get this clip was I just downloaded um, my... the. If you want to have a go, I just downloaded the want to request a tutorial video. And I'm just going to muffle that just for demonstration purposes because I couldn't be bothered like <laughs> actually making a new cinematic. And this was quite a good one to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the frame where the explosion goes off and that is there because that's where I start the um, CC lens so now what I'm going to do is going to go to the drop down and then we're going to click effect at the top go to audio and then we're going to click bass and treble now I've got some presets set and it's this one here and so what that is is I the, at the frame where the explosion oh crap I didn't mean to preview it right at the frame where, where the explosion starts you're going to keyframe bass and treble at zero and you're going to go forward one frame and I'm going to set my bass to 60 and my treble to minus 100 minus 100 being the lowest you can go and the bass I think sounds about right at about 60% uh, or just 60 and uh, I think that sounds good and I'll quickly show you what that does now it doesn't make that much of a difference well it does but um, to the explosion it doesn't do anything this is the bit that muffles the audio like <laughs> Turn up my audio a bit. So if I've got my headset on really low, but I couldn't hear that, so I'm going to play it again. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, that it's got the it muffles it quite nicely, and uh, but it still sounds a bit odd with the explosion. Doesn't sound quite finished yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some effects to my explosion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to also going to apply go to audio and click bass and treble, and I'm going to drag that onto my explosion. Shoot. I need to add that to the explosion. So audio, bass, and treble, and but this time I've got my audio for my explosion, and that's going to be the bass is going to be 80, and my treble is going to be minus 20. There's going to be no keyframe in this, but you don't need to be keyframed really, and uh, that's how you basically muffle both of them. Now there's a there's another thing you can add if you want to give the explosion more depth, I think, and that is um, delay. Now, delay sounds pretty nice. Um, I've got some settings for this as well. And it's delayed explosion. And you'll probably be able to find this on the internet. This is how I found this. Because I wanted to make the explosion sound deeper, so I think I just typed in on Google how to make a... Uh, like, increase the depth of an explosion or something. But these are the settings that came up. Delay time, milliseconds, just changed to 100. And delay amount, also 100. And I'll show you what that does now. As you can see, it creates like a really deep sort of explosion, um, which is really nice. And you also want to make sure that you get the balance of the audio levels right. So on the explosion sound, I've put the audio levels at 11 decibels, and the actual tutorial music, or the music, is 12. So that's the highest it'll go. And hopefully that was a quick tip for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very simple. Um, and yeah, hopefully... Considering it's the build-up to Christmas, I've got a lot of videos planned. Uh, I still haven't uh, finished them yet, but they will be out soon. I think I'm starting on the 12th or the 13th. Uh, I think it's the 12th, and that'll go right up till to Christmas with a video one a day. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you. And if you could leave a like, that'd be awesome.